Good day, Kentucky. I'm Sarah Cardona. The Kentucky women's team was in Oxford, Mississippi last night, desperate to keep their chances of finishing the season with a winning record afloat. Ole Miss, which entered the game, entered the evening in fourth place in the SEC, is known for its stellar defense and showed why last night in the Rebel 74 to 52 victory. The Wildcats were held to their second lowest point total of the season. Kentucky, who struggled to score the whole game, was led by senior Robin Bitten, who finished the night with 15 points. The loss was the third in a row for UK, which is only one game ahead of last place Texas A&M in league play with four regular season games remaining. And on the softball diamond, the Wildcats fell victim to a strange rule over the weekend. On Sunday, Kentucky and Texas played each other to conclude their trip down in Clearwater, Florida. Kentucky scored seven unanswered runs in the final three innings of the game and took a 7-4 lead after it hit in the eighth inning. However, the game had a drop dead time of 3.30 p.m. due to the travel schedule of both teams. So in the bottom of the eighth inning, Texas was down to its last strike with two outs in the inning and an 0-2 count when the drop dead time was reached, thus ending the game. By NCAA rules, the score had to revert back to the most previously completed inning. Thus, the final score in the game was recorded as a 4-4 tie, only the second tie in program history. And it's gut check time for the men's team and their fans. After Saturday's 75 to 68 debacle in Athens, the Cats fell to a 16 and 9 overall record and 7 and 5 in SEC play. But according to Coach Cal, there is still time for the Cats to turn things around and set their resume for the NCAA selection committee. It all starts tomorrow in Starksville. The Cats have lost two straight and absolutely need a win against Mississippi State. And with just a few games left to turn things around, Coach Cal says he's not worried. One of the things that I told them today before we practiced, last year North Carolina was in this same position we're in with five games to go. We got six. Here, here's what I'll say to our fans. Just keep being about these kids. You don't need to be talking, well, if this happens, we're this or that. We don't know what we are right now. But I do know we have the kind of schedule left that we can make this season whatever we want to make it. You know, it's really good to hear a little bit of hopefulness from Coach Cal. I feel like that must mean he's confident. Yeah, but it, it's also kind of scary because I know. he's saying we don't know who we are. We're in February, and it's kind of too late to not know who you are yeah. um, as a team. So, I mean, hopefully they can get things figured out, but it is definitely concerning. I'm sure all UK fans um, are a little bit worried. Yeah, and Lee opened the show up talking yeah, about that gonna... softball rule, and that's just yeah, crazy. So I feel like... You could almost take advantage of that rule if you're the team that gets down in an inning. You could just kind of stall. Exactly. You know? That's and probably what they yeah. did. I right. mean, they yeah. probably took their time on purpose. Um, yeah. Pretty unfair rule, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hopefully, once we get you know into conference play and stuff like that, you know, we don't run into. Yeah. You must end by 3:30. That's like no a travel ball. Should ball ever end in a game. tie. Yeah. yeah, definitely crazy. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Sarah. Of course. Stay with us. Good day, Kentucky. We'll be right back.